let me tell you something. Depression and holidays don't mix. And... December was rough. Very rough. Um, horrible place, but I just wasn't motivated to do anything. Notice I hadn't done any videos in a long time. It's taken me a while to even get up to wanting to make a video now. I didn't even, I barely touched any games during December either. Did it once or twice and that's it. I wasn't motivated to do anything. I've got to make some changes. I've, I've got depression, had this problem for a very long time. It's, I have, I have my highs and lows. The, I'm not going to take any medicine for it. That is worse than the condition itself. Seriously worse. I mean, if you side effects of those drugs, like, no, not touching that shit. So I've decided I'm going to make some significant changes to the channel and a lot of other things. For one, my health is not that great, kind of heavy, so I'm going to get back to do. A bike with Mike starting in February or doing that again in the mornings bike with Mike again and I'm able to get myself up uh, if I'm getting able to get up those times uh, also videos were the format where I did some um, retro games and some had some commentary over that I'm gonna continue doing those but with a big change if it has anything to do with SJWs not touching it it is negative news not touching it only touching positive stuff that's gaming and geek culture news that is positive only and Anything to do with SJWs, not touching it. Ordering can touch that shit. Yang Yao can touch that shit. Midnight Edge, they can touch that shit. I'm not. Not anymore. I've been... There's a um, nerd group on MeWe that I've been posting in. Where I've been railing on SJWs for a lot of stuff. Not going to post that shit anymore. One last post and say, for my health, I need to step away from this shit. I've said my piece. I said where I stand on the, on the matter. But for my health, I need to step back from this shit because this negativity is not doing me any good. All know where I stand on this. I just need to step back from it. Unless it's positive, I'm not touching it. Absolutely will not touch it. As for YouTube, post here. This, news videos, and with the, with the gameplay and the commentary that I've been doing before. Uh, thing new. Uh, Possibly, I've got, I've got some ideas. Anime-related stuff that will be bit shoot only, because the copyright situation here on YouTube is bullshit. Anything that has, you know, like anything like that, is going on bit shoot. Not gonna get posted here, because. They don't respect fair use, respect First Amendment. What to say? This, this platform, I have no hopes. Platform direction at point. Are 
doing stuff that is going to get them into some serious trouble. Playing partisan politics games, they are uh, censoring people for their opinions rather than for actually doing something wrong. Well, if they if they are not if they are not towing a certain political agenda, they are censoring people. And that is not what they're supposed to be doing. They're supposed to be, you know, censoring people for you know blatantly illegal stuff. Not illegal to have an opinion. Despite what the SGWs believe, having a different opinion is not a crime. Wrong. <coughs> Excuse me. So, that's the last I'm going to talk about that. So, still do content here. My anime-focused stuff is going to be on BitChute. I've got some, I've been wanting to do videos on that for a while, never been motivated because of the copyright bullshit here. I can do that there, because the copyright bullshit there doesn't exist. And a bullshit that happens here on YouTube doesn't exist there. Or doing it. this coming next month, I'm going to, um, comes to like, culture stuff and if it's positive then I'll do it here. In fact I'm working on an idea for something for me and Tigra. Uh, a kind of podcast for us to do off off camera, just an audio podcast for us to do where we, we talk about different stuff and it's more positive oriented. So that's the changes I'm going to make. Will it be for videos? Channel? Maybe. Oh, uh, another thing. Because of the copyright BS and also uh, I've been struggling to get YouTube to work right with Restream. You know, I, I, I think I've said it before. I got a, a community guideline warning not a strike, but a warning for having to restream URL in one of my videos. Description in one of my videos. I've had I've had that in plenty of videos and people have had that in plenty. For me to get in one is complete bullshit. And because of the, the, the changes made to the platform, I haven't been able to get the chat relay to work correctly. I can set it up, but the chat relay won't work because it's trying to work with the old way of doing live streaming, not the new way. I haven't been able to get that work. The way Restream uh, chat relay works is if, let's say you're on Twitch, someone says something on Mixer, Mixer in, in chat, well, you can see it on Twitch. Or if someone says it on YouTube, you can see it on Twitch, and vice versa. You can see the messages on each platform. Restream can relay those around, and you can see they have a little tag before the text that lets you know it's from YouTube, or this is from Mixer, or this is from Twitch. It shows you the tag. And when I look at my text, I have it set up to where I can see it, while I'm playing the game, I can tell, oh, okay, this person's commenting on Mixer, this person's coming in on Twitch. I can I can see these. So I can tell, okay, this is where this is coming from, this is where this is coming from. That doesn't work anymore. That doesn't work anymore. YouTube's broken that. Why? So uh, this is a decision that I've been, I've been floating around for a while, because of all the bullshit of rehabbing with happening with the platform, and because the, the changes that they're making is is breaking restream. 
I haven't been able to find any other alternatives to Restream that are better. Not gonna, not, I'm not going to stream games on, I mean, sorry, um, on YouTube. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this idea from Cobra TV, what he does is before he goes into a live stream or games on with games, we'll go into a live stream on camera first into Discord and talk with people. I've been in there. I've been in, in there and talked with him, actually. And I've been with him in, in live stream and games. I've been, he and Tigra have both have been in there with him. Star Citizen. That's what I'm going to do. Where I start live streaming on those other platforms, I'm going to do a short commentary live stream here on YouTube. About maybe 10 15 minutes on Discord. Talk with Tigra and anyone else who wants to join because I'll have the URL for my server comments video comments anyone who wants to join can so that's what i'm gonna do for now on that's what i'm gonna do for now on wait because i gotta do that anyway those are the changes i'm gonna make to the channel Starting in February, I'm going to really start ramping up some stuff for as much as I can. I obviously, I'm not in any condition, physical or mental condition, video a day. How often I'll live stream, I'm at least once or twice a week. Usually the weekends is when I can get on. I'm kind of chunky, so I'm going to get back to bike with Mike in the mornings as best as I can. Usually get a lot of people mixer for me. Try and do that as best I can starting in February. So this, this entire month's a wash. Probably be the only video on here I'll do. But any anything else, any of the commentary video that I do, well, only be positive news. Only be positive stuff. None of the negative. There's guys who can do that stuff. Fine. They they can handle that. I can't. I just have to do what I have to do. Anyway, I've been Mike Desorch. Thanks for listening to me ramble. I'll see you guys next time.